we woke up today and we didn't realize what the NFL had in store for us at the end of week 16. And it delivered once again. You already know the NFL absolutely 110% delivered. Thursday night, let's go over that first because that was an important game, very important game. The Titans needed a victory. They got the victory they needed against the 49ers. They got the victory they needed just like that. Um, the 49ers, you know, they had opportunities throughout the game, and they just could not capitalize on these opportunities. Like several, several bad turnovers by Jimmy G. And the Titans were able to take advantage of that, take advantage of some bad plays as well by the 49ers late. And that's how, you know, the Titans are one step closer to winning the AFC South. But, but it's not over yet. The AFC South race is not completely over yet. And we'll talk about that in a second here. As, unfortunately for Baker Mayfield and the Browns, they fall under 500. They are now... Seven and eight, the Packers. You know, not only did they clinch the NFC North already, they're getting closer and closer to clinching the number one seed in the NFC. And the Browns, you know, you know they fought they fought valiantly, but I mean, again, those four turnovers, a couple of them were, you know, pretty bad turnovers though. Like two of them were really bad. The other two were impacted by penalties. But I mean. It shouldn't have to come to the point where Baker Mayfield is throwing four interceptions anyway. You lost because Baker Mayfield threw four interceptions. It's it's that it's that bad. I mean, Aaron Rodgers and company were still doing their thing out there, uh, just efficient. I mean, the Packers barely got out of this one alive, you know, because I mean the offense they they did enough, but they didn't do everything. You know, because, I mean, the Browns were able to fight back into it. But, again, the four interceptions were really the big difference in this game. Huge, huge difference. Colts and Cardinals, on the other hand, I don't know where this Carson Wentz has come from. I was shocked at the stat line that he has 20-plus touchdown passes this year, but less than 10 picks. I'm surprised that stat line, he was dogging the Cardinals out there. We're talking... What we're talking? What happened to the Cardinals? Carson Wentz playing good football. What the hell's going on out here? What's going on out here? And, and for the Cardinals, I mean, this is just a rough way to. Not not only did the Cardinals end up losing their lead the division, you know, they're sitting in fifth place. But hey, 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 at least you clinched a playoff spot, right, Cardinals? Right. You lost what four of your last five or six games now? This is not a good look now. You lost the division lead. You might have clinched playoff spot, but you can fall further if you keep losing games like this. Like Kyler and company got to get it together. Cliff Kingsbury and company got to get it together. You can't miss three kicks either. Those three kicks missed were absolutely brutal. Just brutal stuff for the Cardinals. Falcons stay in the playoff race, you know, t you know, barely getting by the Lions. Uh, the Rams, despite the fact that Stafford got picked off three times, we all know this is the Vikings we're talking about here. And they could not take advantage of any of those three interceptions. Like, the Rams still, still got absolutely schooled by Cooper Cup. How do you get schooled by this man? Sony Michelle was out here running all over this Vikings defense. I mean, this was just crazy stuff. Now the Rams are in front in the NFC West. Vikings seven and eight, and it's it's a bad seven and eight. You can't, you don't want to be seven and eight in the NFC. You don't want to be seven and eight now. You gotta get you gotta get something. You gotta get something now. Real quick, real quick, Vikings. Your playoff hopes are dying, and this was just not a good way to not a good way to have it. Um. Jets did beat the Jags, so if you watch that game, it ended up actually being a pretty entertaining game for some reason. I, I just don't know how. You know, both these teams are eliminated from playoff contention, by the way. So, again, if, you, if you're a Jets fan or a Jags fan, I hope you had fun yesterday. Jets have their fourth win of the season, which was crazy considering, you know, 
we all thought they were going to go 0-17 last year, but I mean, they were at a 0-16 last year. I keep forgetting, you know. But huge win for the Jets, huge win for Zach Wilson and the company. Sad for Trevor Lawrence. Eagles are one step closer to get the playoff spot themselves. They eliminated the Giants from playoff contention, so that's good. Um, I don't know why the Giants were even still being considered, but hey, it is what it is. Eagles knock off the Giants, and that, you know, in combination with some other things, we'll talk about that in a moment, but, you know, Eagles are in the inside track now to get themselves into an even better position. The Eagles, you know, with Jalen Hurts and company playing much better football now, they're in much better position. Sure, they've taken advantage of a schedule that hasn't been that great, but, I mean, that, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it all. They took advantage of a schedule that wasn't that great. They've gotten the victories they were supposed to get. That's why they're 8-7. and seven. Bills, 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 Bills. Oh, boy, Bills. What did y'all do? Josh Allen looked like the Josh Allen, you know, that we've been tr- we've been trying to get all season long. You know, that guy that's been playing elite football. Not the Josh Allen we've been seeing lately. The Josh Allen we've been seeing right now playing that good on these Patriots. The Patriots struggled a little bit. You know, Mac Jones threw two pretty rough interceptions, but I mean, at least Damian Harris got three touchdowns. The Bills wanted this one more. The Bills got what they needed. They needed this huge W. They needed a huge W in this game, and they got it. You know, there was some bad plays. Oh, you know, my Bills at one point, but, you know, you know, the bad plays by the Bills, they were outweighed by the good stuff that Al and the company were able to do. You know I mean? Again, you know, the division lead is now back in your hands, Buffalo. It's back in your hands. Can you take care of it? We'll see, because we got two weeks left to go. Unfortunately for the Ravens, no Lamar Jackson. No Tyler Huntley. So Josh Johnson got the start. And although Josh Johnson got the start... It did not help. T. Higgins. T. Higgins. Joe Mixon. Joe Burrow. Jamar Chase. Those four guys, they went off on the Bengals. They went off on the Bengals. They went off for the Bengals. I mean, they just, the Bengals just whipped the Ravens again. They whipped them again. Yeah, that's right, again. I know, right? Crazy stuff that they whipped the Bengals. That they quit the Ravens once again. Like, how? How did they do this? I don't know how. They put up 41 on them again. You know, Burrow had 525 yards passing. That is insane. It, pure insanity. Just how? How, how do we get to that point? Look at that, Bengals. Look at that. You might be able to win the AFC North for the first time in a long time, I think, you know huge victory there just a huge victory man in a huge stunner though the Texans did beat the Chargers that creates a little bit of a mess here in the AFC because well, the Texans are eliminated from playoff contention Chargers try to fight for their playoff lives and that 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 kind of loss right there is a huge huge L that, that is a huge huge L you, you can't be losing games like this Chargers I mean, Justin Herbert got pick sixth in this game. Pick sixth. It was that bad. It was that bad. Now the Chargers are on their own free fall, man. Like, this is not what you want to see. This is not what you want to see at all. So the Bears also eliminate the Seahawks from playoff contention. That that was crazy. And yes, Nick Foles did indeed start, which was insanity. Like, I don't know how. You know, they got a two-point conversion late, and the Bears, I mean, the Bears did it. They eliminated the Seahawks from playoff contention. Get Russ out of there. Get Russ out of Seattle right now. Get him Get him to some place where he's got no line, man. Get him out of there. Um, the Bucks. I mean, the Bucks just destroyed the Panthers. I mean, you know, when you look at that, when you look at that box score, and you're like, you're just sitting here looking at it like, yeah. Panthers are just, just not a good team to watch. I mean, Sam Darnold had to come back in for Cam Newton. It's been, it, 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 it has been that bad for the, for the Panthers. 
five and ten. They were three and zero oh at the start of the se- at, at the end of September. Three and zero oh at the end of September. What has happened since? Two and ten. Just absolutely terrible. And the Bucks, yo, know, Brady was efficient. The running game, even more so for the Bucks. Remember they had signed Le'Veon Bell, but I mean he didn't do too much. It was other guys like Rojo or Keyshawn Bond, you know, do picking up the slack. In the run game, so I mean the Bucks, you know, they did what they needed to do, which was win. Now they clinched the NFC South, you know. Um, Raiders, they got a huge victory against the Broncos. They needed that victory. It was a little bit of a sloppy game. I think I turned this off because I mean it was just that it was not that great. And combine that, you know, with you know the other game in the late window getting out of hand, you know, it, it was just not a good recipe for anything I mean you know again Derek Carr was efficient did just enough I mean everybody in the Raiders did just enough to win this game you know the Raiders are over 500 they're over the hump Broncos are not you know who should be under 500 the Steelers the Steelers really should be under 500 it's unfortunate that they have that tie because they should have lost to the Lions in all honesty and the Chiefs put the Steelers in their place. The Chiefs clinch the AFC West as expected. Eight straight wins for the Chiefs. Eight straight wins, which is absolutely insane from the start they had. I mean, we were sitting here at the end of October like, are the Chiefs going to get any better? Are they going to do something? No, 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 no. Not, they did not just get better. They whipped the Steelers. They whipped them, put them back Put about back and, and shot them up. I mean, this this was just not good. Not good at all. I mean, Mahomes got three touchdowns. I mean, this was just this was just out of control. And I mean the Steelers just never had the momentum at all in this game. They never had any momentum. They were down they were down thirty at one point. This was that bad. This was that bad, man. It's unfortunate. I mean, this is, this is probably going to be the way that Big Ben, you know, goes out. And now the Steelers are sitting, you know, at 7-7. Seven and seven, But they're in a weird place because of the tie, you know. They're probably in that position to where it's, I don't I don't think it's happening. They have to win, they have to win their next two games. And I, 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 don't, I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the Steelers... You know, they, they've just had a rough season. This was a punctuation of that rough season. Now, the Cowboys, not only did they win the NFC East because of the Broncos Raiders game, they also clinched a playoff spot because of the 49ers Titans game, which was weird. I, I, I don't know how, but I'll take it. I'll take it. As a Cowboys fan, I'll take it. I'll take this even better. We. We completely clinched the NFC East because we the, the Cowboys whipped up on Washington. My goodness, I don't I don't I don't think I've seen a beating like this in a long time. Taylor Heineke looked like a lost cat out there. He looked like a lost cat. I mean, Dak was playing efficient. Zeke got a touchdown. Everybody was eating. On defense, Randy Gregory, I mean, he was eating. Trevon Diggs got his 11th pick of the season. I mean, everybody was just eating on the Cowboys' defense. Everybody was eating on the Cowboys' offense. Everybody was getting their licks in on Washington. That is what you love to see. That is what you love to see. Can the Cowboys get the number one seed? Probably not. Probably not. I, 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 I do think the Packers will win their next two games. I think the Cowboys will also win their next two two games, but that's just me, you know, projecting at this point. So I won't say any more. But you know, the Cowboys, they are proof they could be locked firmly into the number two position, you know, come seasons in. And I mean they can knock they can knock the Cardinals down a little further next Sunday. I mean it's it's gonna be a wild, wild next Sunday and Monday night, you know. Uh and then the Dolphins, they've won seven straight. Unfortunately for Ian Book, it just didn't work out. It's pretty sad. You know, Ian Book got roughed up out there. Got sacked, what, seven or eight times? It was not a good look out there. I mean, the Dolphins played efficient. The Dolphins played, 
you know, a, a clean football game for the most part. And again, seven straight wins. I mean, we know, we know the Saints are still kind of resilient. They had COVID issues, like 20 guys or something like that were out. Um, and it's, it's it, again, it's just unfortunate, you know, for the Saints. I mean, they had a promising start, but I mean, again, the injuries, the COVID, you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's really getting to them. It's really getting to them at this point. Now they're at seven and eight. Dolphins are eight and seven, and now they have a big matchup with Tennessee next Sunday. So we got a lot of big matchups. I don't know what in the world the NFL was thinking. You know, just starting to flex games out and stuff. You know, with like six days notice. Uh, but now the noon window is jam packed with games. There's really only one thing that matters in the in the um, late window on Sunday. So. You don't want to watch anything in the late window, you might as well just be watching the cards and the Cowboys. Because I mean, what good is what good are you going to get watching the Lions, Seahawks, or the Texans, 49ers, or the Panthers, Saints? What good are you going to get from that? Maybe Broncos, Chargers will provide some entertainment, but we'll we'll talk about all those later in the week. I'm I don't know what I'm going to do and when because I mean again, you know, it's kind of wonky. You know, the fact that there's no Thursday night game this week. So we might as well just do it on Thursday, you know, afternoon or something like that. So you can get that out the way and everything. Um, so the playoff picture, the NFL's playoff picture, we have, again, we have six teams that have clinched it all. They've clinched, they've clinched their spots and everything like that. So it's, it's going to be, it's going to be really, really intriguing, you know, um, to see how everything shakes out these last couple weeks. It's going to be really tricky. Give me a second. Let me load this up. All right. We, we know that, you know, we know that the, um, the Chiefs have clinched the playoff spot. We know that. We know five NFC teams have clinched as well. So the Titans are in a weird position. You know, they can win the AFC South, you know, next week, you know, um, if they win, Bengals can clinch as well, potentially, you know, if they can beat the Chiefs next week. Uh, Buffalo, they, they have a little weird tiebreaker thing with the Patriots right now. And don't forget about those the Miami Dolphins who have, again, won seven straight. You know, they could actually, you know, jump, overtake both the Patriots and the Bills, but they'll need some things to go their way. And, you know, right now... We got we got three AFC East teams that could be in the playoffs. And again, Miami probably should have been in last year, but they just could not get into it. You know, we had to accommodate the Bears last year, in my opinion. You know, we should have had the Dolphins in the playoffs. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so the the Ravens, you know, they're in a they're they're in a tough spot. The Chargers are in a tough spot. The Raiders, you know. They, they, they're doing all right, but I mean, they're, they're in a tough position as well. Steelers, Browns, and Broncos, they're all in tough positions. Again, we still have a long way to go in the AFC. So there's still a lot of teams here that are fighting for six spots. You know, because again, Kansas City might as well have, you know, they clinched, the, they clinched the AFC West. They might clinch the number one seed next week. Again, the the only thing here for the teams in the NFC as we shift on over now is really what the order is going to be for the top five. What is the order going to be for the top five teams? That's really the only thing that needs to get sorted out aside from these last two playoff spots, which, I mean, it's a little bit more cut and dry, the final two playoff spots in the NFC, because, I mean, it's either going to be the 49ers, the Eagles, the Saints, potentially either the Vikings, Falcons, or Washington football team. But I don't think Washington really has a chance. You know, they're, they're, there's just no way that type of chaos is going to happen for Washington. And Atlanta, yeah, that Minnesota, I just don't know either. Maybe I, I'd say New Orleans has a little bit more of a shot at this point. But you can probably count on the 49ers being in. You can probably count on the Eagles being in, you know. Unless something happens, I, I think the NFC side is pretty much set for the most part. I mean, again, we already have five of the seven spots clinched in the NFC. It's just, you know, who are the other teams going to be? And I just don't think any of the teams in the hunt 
are going to be able to do anything. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Because, I mean, the NFL is unpredictable, you know. The NFL is extremely unpredictable. So, with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow for the preview of the college football playoff and the New Year's Six. And we'll get that out for you tomorrow, you know, around, you know, about, you know, same time as usual when I do the premiere thing. Um, I'm glad I got a new subscriber today. Congrats to you. Thank you for coming on to the channel. I really appreciate that. You're helping the algorithm and stuff like that. You're helping me get the views I need to get and, you know, help me, you know, keep growing. So. I want to thank that new subscriber. I forgot his name already, but, you know, noted to love you, brother. Um, so, we're going to get on out of here. We're going to do our preview for the college football playoff in New Year's Six um, tonight and get that uploaded in the morning because I don't want to have back-to-back -back uploads like that in, like, 20 minutes and stuff. So, I mean, that's just not, that's just not me. Um, so, we're going on out of here, and we'll see you again soon talking about the NFL anyway on Thursday, maybe Friday, I don't know when, but you know, it'll be it'll be later in the week. Take care everybody.